I'm Dr. Sandra Brown, and I'm here to talk to you today about diagnosing Scam Pharma, Part 5B. Regenerize is in compliance with all federal regulatory laws, to which I say, you missed one. And by the way, I have no financial conflicts of interest. Let's take a look at a screenshot of the most recently updated Regenerize website. At the bottom of technology, it says, Regenerize is in compliance with all federal regulatory laws. But they missed one, a big one. 21 CFR 200.50. CFR stands for Code of Federal Regulations. And this particular piece of code refers to ophthalmic preparations and dispensers. Don't worry, I'm not going to make you read it. I'm going to explain it to you. Part B. Part B is what we want. And for anybody who's been following the tragedy with the Esricare artificial tears, this is where Esricare went wrong. Liquid ophthalmic preparations packed in multiple dose containers, which means you're allowed to squeeze more than one eye drop out of them, should either contain preservative, that's part one, or be packaged in a way that prevents the product from becoming contaminated. So let's handle this with pictures. This is a great graphic that Rebecca developed for our new website, eyedropsafety.org. It shows you the allowed combinations. You can have a simple bottle, ordinary eyedrop bottle like we've all seen and used many times, with preservative. You can have a single-use vial with no preservative. Or the new kid on the block. You can have a bottle with a dropper which is designed to prevent contamination, a multi-dose preservative-free dropper. These are weird looking. You'll know if you're holding a bottle with this kind of dropper. And with this kind of bottle, you are allowed to have a product in that bottle which does not contain preservative because these bottles prevent backwash contamination. What you're not allowed to have is the combination of a simple bottle with no preservative. And that's what Esri Care made. Now, please note that certain biological products, such as Oxervate, which is an FDA approved biologic eye drop, and autologous serum eye drops, are packaged in multi dose bottles, but are subject to strict cold storage and handling requirements. What else does Regenerize tell us about itself? Well, they're still dancing up and down and informing us that they are preservative free. So there's no confusion about that. They're not changing their story, unlike many other parts of their story, which change monthly. Preservative free. Now take a look at that bottle. On the left, it's got the cap on. On the right, it's got the cap off. First, it's a small bottle because it's shipped to you in a three milliliter size. But secondly, you can see that it's a perfectly ordinary standard bottle. Standard bottle, preservative free, not allowed. 21 CFR 200.50, part B, breaking the rule. If you search Regenerize Bottle YouTube, you'll come up with a video that Rebecca made that shows her squeezing eye drops out of this bottle. And you can actually hear how much air is sucked back into the bottle once she's done squeezing the eye drop out. It's a very large volume drop. You can't dispense a smaller drop. This is the volume that the tip is designed to drop. And so an equivalent volume of air gets pulled back into the bottle. Here's what happens. Let's suppose that somehow that tip gets contaminated. At the next use, you squeeze your eye drop out and there's always a tiny amount of liquid on the bottle tip, which is now in contact with the contamination. When you release the squeeze, an equivalent volume of air is pulled back into the bottle, which pulls that contaminated liquid back into the bottle as well. So what happened with the Esri Care artificial tears tragedy? Well, it is more likely that the liquid was actually contaminated during manufacturing but the manufacturer didn't add any preservative. If they had added preservative, the preservative could very possibly have killed the pseudomonas. But even without contamination during manufacturing, 
you have to be concerned about contamination during use. And there is a specific video about this. Remember, just because it starts sterile and the manufacturer tells you that each batch is tested to ensure quality, sterility, and safety doesn't mean it stays sterile. It can become contaminated during use and ultimately you can end up dripping bacteria on your eyes. Let's take a look at that public safety notification on amniotic fluid eye drops. The FDA says it has no information about the manufacture of these products, and therefore there are no assurances that the products are safe and effective. Now notice that this was posted on April 10th, but on October 5th of the previous year, 2022, the FDA actually sent a letter to Dr. Randall Harrell, who is the CEO and CMO of Regenerize LLC, advising him that his products were non-compliant. So I, I think it really stretches belief for Regenerize to continue to tell us that their products are compliant with all relevant federal regulations. It's just not true. You don't get a nasty gram from the FDA. They're busy people uh, just because they feel like prodding you or making your life difficult. And this is a slight digression, but if you watch this far and if you are a current or former user of Regenerize, I want to ask you, what are you paying for? The earlier marketing language was very aggressive in promoting Regenerize as a biologic product. But biologic is a naughty word, so it vanished from their marketing. Now they say the Regenerize Ophthalmic Solution is safe and effective. Well, the FDA doesn't agree. Preservative free, which they say over and over again. And it's an option to relieve dryness of the eye. Back when it was definitely a biologic, you paid $199 for a three to four week supply. Now that is a lot of money. And in fact, that's how much Regenerize Pro is still being sold for at various online resellers. But is it really a biologic anymore? Or is it a hypotonic? Because biologic is out and hypotonic is in. But you know, a hypotonic eye drop is not a new concept. In fact, I found with no difficulty a reference, a real medical reference, which was cited by 102 people, on the effect of hypotonic hyaluronic acid drops in dry eye disease. This was from 2008. And you can buy a hypotonic and electrolyte balanced eye drop on Amazon for $10.12. So do you want to pay $199 for three cc's of Regenerize, which is hypotonic and not biologic anymore, or at least they're not admitting it? Or do you want to pay $10.12 for a product that has the same mechanism of action, which is doctor speak for the same way that it helps you. It dilutes your hypertonic tears, allegedly. So just let this be your take home message. Drug facts that shouldn't change. First of all, what's in it? Over time, Regenerize has contained as the secret magic ingredient, something called DMAPs, but one of those P's stood for protein, so they had to get rid of it. They changed it to tonicity solution. No one has any idea what that might be. Does it contain amniotic fluid? Does it contain ground up placenta? Who knows? How does Regenerize work? Well, in the old days, the $199 days, it contained cytokines, chemokines, growth factors. It improved inflammation and also caused regeneration. These days, we're not so sure. For a while, there was language about something called dwell time, which means how long it hangs out on the surface of your eye. But now we've moved on to hypotonic healing. Be smart, buy drugs with real drug labels. I hope this talk has given you some good reasons to understand why we at BiologicEyeDrops.org remain profoundly suspicious of the Regenerize eye drop products. And we 
certainly are unimpressed with the new white paper. And we certainly do believe that Regenerize LLC is deliberately misleading the public when it states that its products are in compliance with all federal laws. In fact, they violate the most important safety law of all, which is to have a multi-dose preservative-free dropper on top of the bottle that contains a non-preserved eye drop. This is incredibly unsafe, as we've learned from the Esri Care artificial tears tragedy. If you're using Regenerize, if you're thinking about using Regenerize, I would really ask you for your own protection, both medical and financial, to reconsider that decision. If it's been recommended to you by your doctor and you're feeling like you're facing a very awkward conversation, print out a copy of the FDA public safety notification, make an appointment, and talk to them about it. You may be helping them to help other patients by bringing to their attention the fact that Regenerize is scam pharma. Thank you for listening.